Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really fun review on my signature Gucci belt. Now this won't formally be an unboxing because I actually purchased this at the beginning of August. I've had the chance to wear this out quite a few times and I pretty much make excuses to wear this even to the grocery store because it's Gucci. So I actually purchased this at the Gucci outlet store. Uh, we were on our way to the Gucci store in the mall but we just thought we'd stop by and check it out and see if they had anything else that I might like better. I ended up getting the Gucci signature belt but with the interlocking G's. Um, the ones that they have in store I'm not sure if they have this particular color in store, but at the outlet, they had the red and the gold. So this is what the bag looks like up close. Inside, there's the Gucci box. It's so fancy. Some tissue paper. This is the dust bag it comes in. As you can see, there's the signature embossed all around the outside of the belt. The belt buckle itself is actually quite heavy on its own, and the interlocking G is a very smooth surface. And if I can compare the gold color for you, it's not your traditional gold color. It's an off gold. It's almost silver in some light. The stitching job on this belt is flawless. Don't ask me how I managed to get a water stain on this belt. I've only had it for 30 days, and I'm very upset with myself right now. I mean, I know it's only on the inside of the belt that nobody sees it, but ugh. The Gucci serial code is right here on the top of the belt. This thin little leather piece, it hangs down and it attaches to the belt loop. There's five sizing holes at the end of the belt. Like perfect circles. And here we have it on with some jeans. I like that it's simple, but it's also dressy. This belt does draw a lot of attention because it's very red. I guarantee you people will notice it. You're not confined to wear it only one way. The way I probably wear this the most often is with a romper or a jumpsuit. I think it's so cute when you wear it high-waisted. And then it adds a little pop of color, especially if it's a solid color you're wearing it with. This Gucci belt retails for about $450 from the outlet before tax. Unless you're willing to buy from a consignment or secondhand, then you're looking at maybe around $200. You could always purchase from a Japanese reseller as well. Um, they have affordable pricing and usually it's almost a guarantee that it will be authentic. In Japan, they have laws that um, prevent them from selling fakes. Double check for sure, um, especially when you're spending that kind of money but that is a good route if you are willing to get it secondhand. As for storage, um, I recommend keeping it in a dust bag. You could also hang it up in your closet. And at the end of the day, it is a belt um, and it's well made. So I don't think you'll have to worry too much about it. Just don't do what I did. So is the interlocking Gucci sign... That is a mouthful. Is the interlocking Gucci signature belt worth its money? I think so. It's actually the first belt I've ever owned and a very expensive first belt. Like for a belt that's just supposed to hold up your pants, it's something nice to look at. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next week. I lost my way, but I found my fighters.